Hello everybody, Jelsa Farmer here and welcome back to another video here. Uh, today we're gonna do some completely different. Uh, I'm gonna try to teach you how to edit a mod. Uh, today it's gonna be about increasing the width, work width on a baler. You know, sometimes the baler, if you're picking up a swat of grass or straw, uh, some balers have really narrow pickup feel. Uh, so today, I'm hopefully I'm gonna try to teach you how to increase uh, the pickup width. Uh, you don't need that much. Uh, I'm not a computer nerd, so to speak. Uh, the only thing you need is one software which is free to download, and that's called um, Notepad Plus Plus. So if we go into here, let's change this one. So this is the only software which you need. There are others also. Uh, I've been recommended to use this. Notepad++. I know there are others also. But anyway, we're going to use this today. Um, so we'll go ahead and download the latest version here. Uh, I just Google it, you know. I just Googled Notepad++ and this came up straight in. So today... Uh, here we go, Farming Simulator 19, the mod hub. I think I'm gonna use this one. This is a pretty fair and easy, straightforward square baler. So, first thing you want to do is to download the mod itself. And then I need to go into my downloads. Here we go. So now you can see I've downloaded the mod. So what I usually do is I right click it right click on it and copy it and then I go into my mods folder where I have all my mods this is under farming simulator 19 so this is you know locked to the game itself and I'm just gonna paste it in here bam like so then I'm going back to my downloads and here we got the mod again and I also have a separate folder called customizing mods so I'm just gonna drag it into the customizing mods folder and there we go and then the next step is uh, you need to unpack it because this is a zipped file so I don't have any you know zip program or something like that I just use the one that's on my computer <laughs> so then you need to go into I think in English it's called unpack everything or unzip uh, so I'm gonna do that, unzip the folder, bam, like so. And then it's gonna open up another window with all the files within that mod. Uh, so the first thing I usually do is to change the, the name on it. So to do that you need to look for the XML file. So we have two XML files, one for the mod description and one for the, mo uh, the mod itself. So as you can see, this is the new Holland XML file. Right click on it, edit with Notepad++. Uh, yes, I don't know why I got that up, but anyway. <laughs> Maybe I had it up in the background, but anyway. Uh, so here is the, oh, the, this is very complicated, so I usually don't do anything else than change the name. So here we got name D1000 and I'm just going to call it, you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it my name so I know uh, which one it is. Uh, and then you can change the price, you know, maybe we can change the price to... Uh, this is going to be wider, so this is going to be more expensive. This is going to cost you 20,000. <laughs> and there's nothing more. It, this one here, the size, width and length, that's the baler itself. So don't, don't do anything else there. And then just press here, save it. And close this one. And now we need to change the pickup width. And then we need to go into a file called i3d file. Click on that, right click, edit with notepad++, there we go, and yeah, as you see, I'm already in here, but uh, <laughs> when you open it, this is, uh, 
it could be different from Baylor to Baylor, and it could be really difficult to find. But what you're looking for are these transform group, and there's one transform group called work with or working areas. So the easiest way to find it is just click one inside the folder here, and then press Control F. Bam, and you will get this one up. And here you can search for whatever you want. So when I'm ser searching for work, find next. No, it's not this one, not this one. There we go. Close this one. So here we have the transform group work areas. So here you have a work start, work width, and work height. So as you can see here, um, you have 1.2 and minus 1.2 and 1.2. So that's the, well, how should I say it? Um, if you have, for example, the center line of the baler, uh, these numbers are like 1.2 meter that way and one minus 1.2 meter that way from the center line. So what we need to do, we need to increase that. So to see a difference there, I think I'm just going to change it to, let's say, 6 meter. <laughs> and this one, 6 meter. And the height, I think that is, you know, if you have a really high pile of um, uh, water, <laughs> no grass or straw. <laughs> so I'm going to change that one also to 6. There we go. So now it's going to pick up 6.2 meters on each side i'm gonna save it bam i'm gonna close this one and then what you need to do you need to highlight all of these folders uh, and then right click then you need to send to compressed folder or yeah send to compressed folder and then it's gonna open a new folder here which is zipped and this one you need to rename so i usually rename it more or less the same as it's from before so nhd 1000 and then underscore uh, my name jelsa like so so now you can take this zip folder and just drag it into your mods folder bam so now you see we have the original one and we have the one i have um, modified so the next thing now is I'm going to load up the game and we'll see if this works. <laughs> so here we are. We are in the game. Uh, I'm on the Alaska Delta Junction uh, map. Uh, doesn't matter which map you're on. <laughs> I thought I could use this since I just downloaded it. So now when we go into the shop. Let's see, let's go into here, into baling technology. And then you will find those two balers, the original one and the one that we modified, hopefully. There we go. So this is the original one, the D1000. And the one to the right, D1000 Yelsa, which you can also see the price is 20,000. So... <laughs> So let's see, uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. Uh, I might change the color on the modded one, but I'm going to lease this one as it is, like so. This is the original one. And then I'm going to take this one, which is the modded one. And I'm going to change the main color, maybe to red, like so. Maybe completely red, like so. I'm gonna lease this one, so now we know the red one is the the white one, so to speak. So let's uh, just uh, test out this original first. Aye, come on, buddy. <laughs> okay. Okay, we need to... <laughs> Let's move this. There we go. No, no, no. Let it go. 
Yeah, and, and if you haven't uh, noticed yet, this is only available to do on PC, of course. This is uh, nothing that you can do on console, unfortunately. Not for FS19, by the way. Uh, maybe on FS22, who knows. So, let's see, let's start it off. Lower it down, and now you can see the pickup width is... You know, normal. The same width as the baler itself. Speaking of grass, everything is good. Good. Uh, but as you can see here, yeah, it's those 1.2 meter from each side. So I'm gonna run up a little bit quicker up to the JCB and let's test out this one. Now this should have. Oh, what did we change it to? Six, six point one meter on each side. Unfold it. So this should be now 12 meter. Let's see. Let's hope this works now. <laughs> oh, there's some airplanes here. There we go. Uh, yeah. So, moment of truth. Turn it on. Lower it. And there we go. You can see this one has a, a wider pickup. So, you know, you can go really crazy and take it more, you know, 50 meter on each side if you were going really crazy. But I found that 6 meter or 12 meter in total is it's a little bit crazy. Not 100% realistic, but anyway, it's working. So what I've also done, uh, I've done it with um, a round baler, which I have. Uh, this is the uh, <laughs> this is a pretty cool one. This you can have a different kind of decals on the side. This is the FS Farming Simulator League decal. So I've done the same with this one. I think I've changed this also to six meter. And this one, uh, you know, will pack the bales pretty fast. Let's see, turn it on, lower. And now I can pick up two lines. I'm gonna put it on cruise control. Oh, oh, that's because this is hay, isn't it? Yeah, the first bale was hay. There we go. So yeah, you can uh, you can play around and fiddle around with the length or the width on the baler to whatever suits your uh, kind of playing. <laughs> so I think that was it more or less for uh, editing um, the baler working width. Just go into the uh, i3d file. You're gonna need only software you're gonna need, as I said, is the um, the Notepad plus plus, and I need to turn off this one like so. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a couple of more of these kind of videos if you like it. Uh, if I don't get any feedback at all, I'm not. Which I'm not gonna do anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway uh, thanks for watching and yeah I'll uh, see you the next time bye bye